I wanted to do a couple of tunes on the album that would be electric based. Since the album is so influenced by jazz, I did want a couple albums that reflected my electric side, some R&B and some funk. And I didn't want to go off, t off on a tangent too much, but I wanted to have some representation of those styles on the album. Uh, I, wrote, I wrote the first tune, uh, which is called uh, All the World Can Be, and I wrote that tune and the intention for that song was to, to be a vocal duet. It would be a male and female vocal duet. Um, and I had in mind who I wanted to do it, and that uh, wrote that song pretty quickly. That song actually did not take that much time to write. When I met somebody that I really liked, and A, they were a great musician, and B, they were had a great personality, I would make note of that. And before I started recording the album, I had a very, very good idea who I was going to use. And a lot of these tunes were written with specific players in mind. So the first thing I noticed, you know, wow, these guys really know how to play. And then on a break, you start talking to them, and some guys you don't gel with, but with these guys, it was just immediate. To finally find a reason why it's so hard. just the nicest people and I've kind of, I've, as much as I can on this album I've tried to make that kind of um, just a policy that uh, I've tried not to work with people that I didn't like to work with I've had to do it a couple times but for the most part I tried to only work with people that I really had a connection with that were great people fun to be around um, those were the people that I like to work with and so most of the people that worked on this album they're just a blast to be around the second song, I knew it was going to be a funk tune and I knew it was going to be with horns and vocals, but I didn't know anything else. Just the funk tune alone has two musicians from San Francisco and a singer from Hawaii and a singer from Monterey. And, um, so there was, there was a lot to consider and I needed to make sure that I could book these people before I put a lot of energy into the whole thing. So I spent a lot of time on the phone contacting them, making sure that we could come to an agreement as far as an, an amount and their availability and all that. Once that was done, uh, it was kind of bittersweet because it was like, um, great, I have these musicians, the problem is I have no song. And I hadn't written the song yet, and this was August, September. Uh, there was no song, and so I went into basically a massive panic. At the right around Labor Day, it was uh, you know it was Xanax time. I spent uh, the entirety of September and October writing um, and arranging, and in preparation for them to come. And it was almost like a countdown. And I would it was a routine. I would get up in the morning, and that's what I would do. I would go in and start working on the tune and it seemed like I would never get it finished.
got excited, so oh, I, I you know, let's play it longer. It sounds like it should be longer. Da -da 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 -da! Let's get off on one. Yeah. Get All the way. One. Yeah, we're gonna play. We're gonna play that fall short. <laughs> Think you can do it any better? Well, let's give you another one. Okay. Keep that one, we'll just yeah, let's do that. These are studio veterans, and when I've worked with them, I'm amazed at how they walk in, and they really, not only do they play well, but they deliver great performances, I mean, just right off the top. <laughs> comforting and nurturing in the studio because um, the times occasionally when I've used somebody that is not a warmer personality um, you can feel that in the studio there's a little bit of tension in the studio when I'm with the guys that I'm very comfortable with there's none of that I, I can really relax uh, I know what to expect from them they know what to expect from me that's when typically I'm gonna play the best when we started now it's all inside out Before you thought life was perfect I won't let you down But you've been all like that Cool. Except, that's my favorite phrase of Bill's. It's perfect, except... <laughs> Is that the toughest part right there? The ending, the tough part. When they curse me for what I wrote. I won't let you down but you been all like that Possible. I don't yeah. know if I can dance to it or it not. It might work. <laughs> <laughs> I ruined my hip, man. <laughs> God, that is so much fun doing that.